Alice, or come in and go on the generator in the car. I already did. Okay. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, and run it off for a natural water. Exciting moment for us to start and run the dune buggy on natural water as required under patent laws. But much work still remains if we are to translate the water fuel cell technology into viable, usable energy systems. Going from transportation to farm to industry 
and even perhaps make a power utility application. At the top of our news here at 6 o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, they use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel cell. Myers started working on this project four years ago. He's not a scientist. He isn't even a chemist. In fact, he never graduated from college. Myers was determined, he says, to design something to protect this country from oil embargoes. And we have calculated that if we t take the dune buggy from Los Angeles to New York, we would roughly use 22 gallons of water. The Pentagon flew a lieutenant colonel in last week to look at Meyer's invention. There's talk of possibly using it in the Star Wars defense program and to run army tanks. Myers is currently perfecting a water fuel cell for cars. It will cost about $1,500. He says it won't need any maintenance and you won't have to replace it. It'll be at least two years before the fuel system goes into mass production. The day it happens will be one the fuel industry hates, but it'll put a smile on the face of those who've had to say at one time or another, fill her up. I'm Ralph Robbins. As you can see, many patents have already been received and many more are forthcoming. To date, over 42 patents have been applied for. Water fuel cell technology being applied to the dune buggy will also be utilized in all areas where energy is needed. Since the water fuel cell technology... injector systems, design, build, and test electronic boards for acceleration controls, perform test evaluation of systems reliabilities, success is measured by determination to make it work, and successful we shall be.